Last year when I went to Arizona, I went to a restaurant that had a really nice flank steak with herb butter. Except that's not what I ordered. What did I have instead? I don't remember. And boy, that says a lot about the forgettability of the dish I had. But I'm making up for that. I recreated the dish here at home, and I'm gonna show you how to do it too. Yeah, I know I normally wait to the end to eat, but that's getting cold. Now, obviously we're gonna start off with flank steak. Normally an untrimmed flank steak is twice the length of this. I cut it in half because, well, one half of a flank steak is enough for one serving. Unless you're Nick Acado Avocado, but he'd probably dump the whole thing in fake orange cheese and McDonald's fries. <laughs> Now, the restaurant I went to probably did not sous vide the steak, but man, it had a nice, sexy, pinkish, medium rare. And one way to get that medium rare is to sous vide it. Also, I stand out in the algorithm. So, let's take our flank steak, insert it into our vacuum seal bag. Line, make sure you line this up correctly. Oh, and uh, purchase link in the description, by the way. And uh, push the little vacuum seal button. That's not. <sighs> Helps if I plugged it in. And voila, one sealed flake steak ready for a bath. All right, get our cooking tub with our sous vide machine ready. All right, let's set our sous vide for 127 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, I know the temperature for medium rare is 130, but there's method in my madness. Because once we sear it, the internal temperature is going to rise. And by having it at 127, we can preserve our yummy medium rare interior. And if we cook this to medium rare and sear it, it's going to get hot and it'll become plain old medium. And at that point, you might as well feed it to the dogs. No, 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 no. That's too cruel. My woke leftist vegan cousin? Uh, she's annoying, but no. Ah, the Warner Brothers executives whose bright idea it was to remove all the cartoons off HBO Max. Yeah, that's who I'll feed it to. All right, once it comes up to temperature, let it do its thing for one hour. All right, it's been an hour. Our steak is done taking its little jacuzzi. And let's set this aside for now because we're gonna work on the herb butter. Let's add one stick of unsalted butter to a pestle. Three cloves of minced garlic. One tablespoon of chives. And one tablespoon of parsley. And finally, let's add in one teaspoon of salt. And yes, use regular table salt. Kosher salt is too coarse. And grab our pestle and mash away. You're definitely gonna have to scrape down the bowl a few times, that's fine. Eh, could use a few more herbs. All right, I think that's good. Okay, now comes my other favorite part, searing the meat. Grab yourself a cast iron skillet, set it to high. Let that heat up a bit. Because here's the thing, the inside is already cooked. We just need to sear it. Okay, our pan's hot enough. Let's toss in some oil. Oh, and let's turn on the hood. And let's add our meat. While it's cooking, let's season it with some salt. And pepper. Okay, and after three minutes, flip it to the other side. Ah, that's what we want, that nice Maillard reaction. Let's season it again. Okay, and after another two and a half minutes, Feel the heat, transfer our steak to a wooden cutting board, cover it in aluminum foil, and let it rest for five minutes. 
Okay, our meat is done resting. We can finally cut into it. Now, so, now here's the thing. We can't just simply cut downward. It's going to look awkward. And trust me, I know a thing or two about awkward. Ask 14-year-old me. No, instead, we're going to cut at an angle. So hold your knife at a 45 degree angle like this. And slice against the grain, like so. And let's give everything a nice dollop of our herb butter. And here we go, folks, a lovely medium rare steak with herb butter. Now some of you are probably saying, shouldn't you go back to Phoenix and actually try the dish instead of guessing? To which I say, F you guys, I am not going to Arizona in the middle of summer. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and support me on Patreon. Oops, slipped my dog outside, but um, hey, the filming's more important.